guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with the first build for 2020 here, and it's the custom Chevy pickup truck that was used in the Terminator. Now, like the last couple of years, I'm going to be doing a theme build this year, and kind of carrying over from last year's books and novels, this year I'm going to be working on projects that are based on other things. Uh, so books that were turned into movies, graphic novels that were turned into TV shows. And as a lot of you probably know, there was some litigation with the Terminator and Harlan Ellison about how the Terminator seemed to be borrowing quite heavily from Soldier and Demon with the Glass Hand. So uh, this is kind of a nod toward that final acknowledgement credit at the end of the first Terminator. And, uh, yeah, so, starting here with Ravel's Chevy Street Rod, which, as you can see, has the wrong rear end, but a uh, pretty decent performance front. And taking a look at it here, this is a kit that I picked up, already opened, so it does have some missing pieces in it, but the critical stuff is here, and for the most part, looks pretty good. You know, we got a... Uh, Pretty good looking chrome sprue here. A little rough in some places, but not too bad. Glass is nice and clean, so no complaints there. It does have pretty awful looking tires, and Here's where you can see yeah, it's missing the rear tires, but I won't be using those at all anyway. Got a pretty simple bench seat here. And there's the short box with the fenders that I won't be using, and the back of the cab there. Now what's nice is the way that they cast this chassis, it's going to be really easy to extend it to the long wheelbase truck that was used in the movie. And pretty decent looking dashboard there. All separate suspension components, which again, that's really nice for what I need to do here. It's got a 350 V8 with performance headers and that's going to be another nice touch that I can use on this particular truck and here we have the hood the rest of the engine and the rest of the performance parts including the fuel injection setup and there's the custom front bumper so what I'll be doing for the box is I got this from Morgan Automotive and it is officially supposed to go with the uh, AMT deserter but as you can see that lines up pretty good right there so I'll be able to use this just as is. Now, one thing I haven't decided yet is this truck comes with a sunroof cast in it. And while the movie truck probably didn't have a sunroof, you also never really got to see it. Uh, all the views of it were basically like this. So I might leave that. It kind of fits in with the custom look of the rest of the truck. I might decide to fill it in. I have to decide that as I go. But, so there we go. That will be the first project for me for this year here on YouTube. So check back next week for the first work on it, and thanks for watching.